Okay, guys, so I'm starting a weight loss and exercise program, and um, I really want to lose weight. And so I just wanted to ramble about that a little bit. First of all, I want to say that tomorrow is a very important day for me because for the past five months, I've been on a drug called prednisone, which is a steroid. And while on this drug, it makes you gain a lot of weight, and um, it does funny things to your body, and it gives you something called moon face, which if you can see, my face is really round and fat, and that's why, um, because of the prednisone. So I get to go off of this drug tomorrow, and I'm very excited about it. And in going off of this drug, not only should I automatically, hopefully, lose some of the weight in the moon face and things like that, but um, I also want to start dieting and exercising. Um, the diet I plan on doing is sort of more of a, um, I am eating a two shake a day diet where I'm eating um, two shakes and then a sensible meal, a couple of healthy snacks. And I just got done drinking my lunchtime shake, so um, that's what made me think to do this video. So it's not slim fast. It is um, the shakes called Total Soy Chocolate Meal Replacement Shakes. And um, it's supposed to help you lose weight. It's full of protein and things like that. And so I'm going to allow myself one for breakfast, one for lunch, um, some healthy snacks, whether it be cut up veggies or fruit, and a sensible dinner. So I want to talk to you guys um, about something I learned in the hospital called the plate method. And I just thought it was brilliant in its simplicity. Um, I don't want to go for these fad diets, these crazy diets, these expensive, costly diets. Um, I want to kind of keep it simple, and I think that'll help me best to lose weight. So the plate method is where you look at a picture of a plate and just picture a circle, and you cut it into quarters. And a quarter of the plate could be a protein, a meat quarter of the plate. So that's a pretty small piece of meat. Um, a quarter of the plate will be your starches, which would either be potatoes or rice or uh, pasta. And then half of the plate could be vegetables. Um, and to me, that's a pretty brilliant way to learn portion control and to eat sensibly. So I'm going to try to drink a shake for breakfast and a shake for lunch, which should get me through, and, and a couple snacks here and there, and um, then use the plate method for my dinner at night. And I'll probably make a plan not to eat, say, after 6 o'clock. Um, so I'm not, you know, eating in front of the TV or snacking on a bunch of junk food and things like that. In addition to my new diet, I also will be exercising, and I have been actually exercising. Um, and my way of exercising is using a recumbent bike that I was able to get my hands on. And if you guys don't know what a recumbent bike is, it's really awesome for lazy people like me who really hate exercising. It's like a stationary bike, except you're sitting down instead of up like on a bicycle. You're, it's almost like sitting in this chair and pedaling with your feet. And you can get your heart rate up and you can work up a sweat and you can, you know, burn fat and, and get a cardio workout in, but you're in a comfortable position. Um, it's kind of foolproof. It's easy. You can go as slow or fast as you want to go. Um, if I just want to, you know, get my body moving a little bit so I'm not, you know, going into atrophy because I don't do very much, <laughs> then um, I can do that. But I can get my heart rate up and I can, you know, work up a sweat and burn fat and get a cardio workout in. And um, I can do all that with the recumbent bike. So for me, for starting out, I'm going to try the sensible diet and the sensible exercising thing. I'll probably I'll probably do about 20 minutes a day um, on the bike about four times a week. And then I'll probably increase it from there. So if you guys want to know about the meal replacement shakes I'm using, um, just let me know and I'll give you the information. And if you want to look up a cool way to exercise, look up recumbent bikes. You can get them in all different price ranges. And um, I feel like it's really going to do the job for me. And I guess time will tell and you guys will see right here on this vlog channel. Another thing I want to talk about while we're talking about being healthy and things like that, um, if you've watched my channel, you know that I've quit smoking. Um, I quit smoking, but I started using this, and I've been actually using this for a long time, but it's an e-cigarette. Now, most of you probably know what this is. If you don't, it's kind of an imitation cigarette. This this is a battery right here, and this is a filter, and it has, a, um, it has an atomizer in there, and um, you put drops special drops in there and then you inhale through the battery and that heats up the atomizer and it 
create sort of a vapor. So you're using a vapor instead of um, instead of smoke and cancer-causing agents and things like that. And there's no fire, there's no flame, and this and that and the other thing. And usually when people use these, they're full of nicotine. And it's just a healthier way of smoking. Mine have no nicotine because I, I used the patch and I went off of nicotine completely. But I still like this for the hand-to-mouth action of feeling like I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm not going to smoke it. Uh, fuck it. As you see, there's like a little stream of vapor that comes out. Now that feels like you're smoking, but you're not, and it's not unhealthy for you. So um, effectively, it keeps me from smoking, and um, I recommend this to anyone who's thinking of quitting. Um, and there's no smell to it. It doesn't offend other people. It doesn't leave yellow film everywhere. It doesn't um, stain your teeth. It doesn't, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of expensive, um, but it's still cheaper than smoking. Um, but it's a healthy alternative to smoking and it keeps me from smoking. So anything that can keep me away from one more addiction, I'm all for. So, um, check it out if you haven't already. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about while I'm here and on camera is, um, you know, I have all these addictions. I'm not sure if it's addictive personality disorder or if it's like part of bipolar or I'm not sure what it is, but I have all these, you know, addiction, some that I've spoken about, some that I haven't, um, some that I will, some that I won't, but, um, you know, the smoking, the drinking, you know, since I quit drinking, I have been spending, 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 um, and there's just such a high to spending, you know, it's, you know, I do a lot of my shopping online and it's, you know, it's shopping for it, it's picking it out, it's actually you know, hitting the checkout or place order button, um, there's just this sort of excitability that comes with it. And then waiting for it and tracking the package in the mail and then getting it and opening it and receiving it and then enjoying the product itself. And it's like, I am not happy unless I'm waiting for something in the mail. And so I really need to, um, you know, I can't go back to drinking, but I really need to stop spending money um, on things that I don't need with money I don't have. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys deal with spending issues too. So, um, if, you know, if you guys have spending issues and um, you don't mind talking about it, leave me a comment or, you know, um, a story or whatever you want to say below um, because it's something I'm extra interested in right now just because... Um, it's happening to me and that's what I'm going through right now. So that's kind of what I'm going through right now with um, trying to diet and exercise and going off that medication and um, not drinking and trying not to spend. You know, I hope to find other ways to be excited that, you know, aren't self-destructive. So I guess I'll be tracking my progress here on my vlog channel and um, I hope you guys will root for me a little bit or cheer me on. And that's about all I have to say for this video. Um, thanks for listening, and I will see you next time. I'm out.